there, cats and kittens. My name is Salty Tabby, and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Uh, last time, uh, we made the realization that we kind of can't leave on our own from the future. Like, we can't get back home, and Dustmore is not going to help us because he wants us dead. So, uh, we need to go get the only Pokemon who actually could help us, maybe. And that's Grovile. And he got attacked by Spiritomb. So, we just got down here, and... Uh, found this disaster going on, so let's figure out what's going to happen here and see if we can save him. Hey! There's Grovile! Er, you two. Grovile, are you alright? Stay back! What? Why? Careful! An enemy lurks nearby! What? Where? It's right beside you! Next to me? It can't be this! What? <laughs> All those who trespass upon this land, none shall be forgiven. None. Not least of all you. Who is that? Who are you? You ask that of us? Our name is Spiritum. We are the manifestation of a fusion of spirits. Whoa. 108. Ah, I was off by eight. <laughs> 108 of them. Be careful, you two. That Pokemon is strong. <laughs> Prepare to take your punishment. Dang. Also, like, it's not weak to anything. Because, um... Yeah. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to time this right. Diggy diggy. It's going to come forward. Oh, no, it went at me. Dang it. Of course it did. Well, it's paralyzed now, so it don't matter. So this thing isn't actually weak to anything. So, like, even though it is a ghost type, it is also dark, so it's not weak to bite. Eh. Diggy diggy. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. I'm going underground. Thunderwave him. Ooh, we missed. No! It's okay, we have revive receipts. I need... Come on. Yes! Paralyze. Force Palm isn't going to do a lot, but we'll try. Ah, it missed. Force Palm again. Come on, Amp. Come on. We got him! We did it! Yeah! We are a great combo. What's happening? that? What was all that about? It got spooked and ran. Grovile! Are you alright? Yeah, I'll be fine. Can you get up? Somehow. <clears throat> that Pokemon, it was cunning. It went up my nose and took control of my body. Ah! Ooh. Nope. Nope. I just started playing Baldur's Gate 3 recently on my own, and that gives me some memories of that so far. No, we don't like it. We don't like it. Nope. So that was a bad Pokemon? No, that's not true. That Spiritum was probably just upset over us trespassing into its space. It was frightened because it became so angry. It was frightening. Because it became so angry that it lost control of itself. But you saw what happened when the situation turned sour. It fled. It's normally a timid Pokemon. There are many such Pokemon here in your future. There are Pokemon who you should be good, but have become bitter and twisted because of the world's perpetual darkness. You see? Good Pokemon going bad because of this world? That makes me sad. Hey! Hey! You too. Now will you finally trust me? Uh, someone? I'll admit it, I don't really trust you, but... Humph, <sighs> I've told you before. There's no point in continuing together if there's no trust between us. I'm leaving. Oh, wait! I didn't say I don't believe you. To be perfectly honest, we don't know what's what anymore. 
That's why we want to know as much as we can learn. And it's true, I still don't completely trust you, Grovile, but... But what you said does make some sense. It just seems to be logical. So please, Grovile, please tell us what you know. Tell us about this future, and why you came to our world. So, what if everything I say is a pack of lies? It's alright. I won't accept everything you say at face value right away. I'll listen, then decide. That's good, Amp. Well, fine. Follow me. Alrighty. Yes, we would like to save. We're about to hear what Grovile has to say. Fif Chapter 15, The Secret of the Planet's Paralysis. Ooh. Ooh. This is a nice little alcove. Should be okay here. Good. This will do. Though Sableye won't be able to spot us here easily. Tell us, Grovile. In the future, why did the planet's paralysis take place? The cause of planets, the planet's paralysis dates back to your time in the world of the past. The planet's paralysis started with the collapse of the temporal power, bleh, temporal tower, which was governed by Dialga. D Dialga? Who's that? He is the legendary Pokemon that controls time. Dialga ensured the proper flow of the time in from the temporal tower, but when the temporal tower collapsed, time gradually got out of control. And eventually, the planet fell into paralysis. What, what happened to Dialga? When time went out of whack, Dialga also... Oh, oh, Dialga lost control of itself when time went out of... I see. Now, here in your future, the planet has become fully paralyzed. And thus, Dialga has almost completely lost all of his reason. And is governed by darkness. Dialga is now beyond recognition. He has become an entirely different entity. Yes. He has been trans transformed into Primal Dialga, a primordial presence. Okay. Ugh. Primal Dialga feels no emotion. He seeks only self-preservation, so he prevents history from changing. That's why Dialga wants me gone, because I tried to change history. Because I wanted to stop the planet's paralysis. Because I traveled back in time to your world from this place, your future. What? Grovile, you're saying you came back to our world so you could prevent the planet's paralysis? But that's completely the opposite of what we were told. Grovile, you came back to our world to paralyze the planet, didn't you? And Grovile, weren't you the one stealing the time gears? You've got to be joking. I was collecting the time gears because they were needed for preventing the planet's paralysis. Ooh. I needed to take them to Temporal Tower and put them in place. That would reverse the collapse of the Temporal Tower, which was finally underway in your time. Which, or which was fully underway. While it is true that removing a time gear from a specific place causes time to stop in that area, it's only temporary. After the time gears are put into the Temporal Tower, time would have been fully restored to normal everywhere. Urgh. But then, what about all the things Dustmore said about you? Like how you were a wanted outlaw in the future? And how you escaped from the future and fled to our world in the past. So, you, so you're claiming that was all a bunch of lies? What else could it be? Because Dusknor is really an agent sent from the future by sent from this future by Primal Dialga to get rid of me. Well, technically, he is an outlaw to them. What? Dusknor was an agent sent to get rid of you? That's right. I have said that Primal Dialga will try to thwart any attempt to alter the course of history. That's why, when he learned that I traveled through time, he sent Dusknor after me. The great Dusknor? Can't be. It's hard for you to believe, I know. I can't believe it at all. You're saying all of this about the great Dusknor? I don't understand why Dusknor was acting that way, but... But I respected Dusknor. I can't... I can't believe you. It's hard to accept, but... Looking back over what we've been through in this future world, what Grovile says is reasonable. It makes perfect sense, and Amp knows it. Amp knows deep down that what Grovile is saying is true. But knowing it doesn't make it, it makes it that much harder to accept. But hey, where are you going? I'm gonna go see Dusknoir. Amp, you can't. What? I want to see Dusknoir. I'm gonna find out. If what you say is true. Dude, he's gonna try and kill us! You can't! 
What is the point of that? You'll only be making it easy for him to get rid of you. You don't stand a chance against them. Then, what am I supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Didn't you wonder this earlier? And you decided that you would decide for yourself? And you insisted that because you don't know what to believe, you wouldn't accept words at the, for their face value. You'd think for yourself. It's times like this, when things are tough, that you have to be strong. Think for yourself, then act as what you deem right. Rovile, what are you going to do now? I'm going back to the past again to stop the planet's paralysis. To do that, I need to find Cel- <gasps> Celebi! Yeah, Celebi can also travel through time! So, Cel Celebi? That's right. You can come with me or not. It's your choice. You two decide on your own course of action. I'm off. We need to go with him. We have to. <laughs> I don't know what I should believe either, but there's one thing I can say with certainty. This future is a world of darkness. The planet's paralyzed, and the paralysis of the planet happened back in our world. That's why, to stop it from happening. Yeah, either way, we're going to have to go back to the past no matter what. No matter who's telling the truth or who's lying or what's going on. We have to get back. That's the truth. We have to get back. Back to our world. Tabby. Yes, I know. What Grovile said. Grovile is right. Things are very tough now. That's why we have to be strong. I'm alright now. Let's go. Let's catch up to Grovile. Yep. Let's go, buddy. Tabby. Hmm? We have to... We have to get back. Back to our own world. Yeah. Back to everybody. Back to friends. Back to guild. Back to Chadot, who tells us what to do every day and takes a lot of our money. <laughs> I miss him even though he stole all our money for the guild. Eh. Almost missed Team Skull. Almost. Grr. Master Dialga. The stage has been set for the capture of the traitors. When the time comes, it may be necessary for us to beg for your help, Master Dialga. Grr. As you wish. By your leave, we shall proceed. Yeah, he's a bad guy. Mm hmm. Hmm? What? What? What was that strange sensation? had that strange sensation before. What strange sensation? Like we know this place? Where? Where are we? This is Dusk Forest. Its name comes from the dark fog that perpetually surrounds it. Deep in this forest, we should find Celebi. Hey, Grovile. You mentioned that name, the name before, but who is Celebi? Celebi is a legendary time travel Pokemon. She has the she, ooh, she has the ability to cross time, but well, she's a little odd. But anyway, Celebi's ability enabled me to go to the past in the first place. So if we find Celebi, we can return to our world. Yes, you can go back, but Celebi is the Pokemon that sent me to the past. The Celebi has lent her support to reshaping history. Wait, are you saying that Celebi's in trouble too? That's right. Primal Dialga is also targeting Celebi. There's no time to waste. Get ready soon. We have to find Celebi. Okay. Now we gotta go save Celebi. Okay. Okay. We don't need that many apples. We'll keep those orin berries. Put some of these seeds away. Plain seed. And we'll take out one more reviver seed. Hey, does this mean Grovile's gonna be with us? Like a buddy? That'd be nice. Is this pure seed? Oh, we're spoken my stairway. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. Do I have. I need some more max elixirs. Take. We'll take two. Two is good. Alright. A 
That should be good. Alright. Now we save. We don't hurry. Sableye will catch up to us. We're leaving as soon as we're ready. Okay, we're ready. Are you ready? Yep. Let's go. You seem to finally be prepared. Let's go, then. We'll catch... We'll find Celebi and return to the past. Oh, wait! Don't go! What is it? The three of us do return to our world. If the three of us. Rovile, will you steal the time gears like you did before? Well, yes, I will. Otherwise, the planet's paralysis can't be stopped. But I... Rovile, I'm not convinced yet. I don't completely trust you yet. I'm only cooperating with you because I want to return to our world. If we do return, Grovile, I'll investigate if you really were stealing the time gears to prevent the planet's paralysis. If I s decide you're stealing for the wrong reasons, I'm going to stop you. Hmm. <laughs> do as you will, but keep this in mind. What's important now is getting ourselves safely back to your world. So for the time being, focus on getting back home. Let's go. Yep. Hmm? I feel it. I'm sensing something strange. Huh? What's the matter, Tabby? I just know it. I feel like... So I felt something like this before. It was... That's it! It was when... Oh! When we got here. I feel like I've been here before? No! I thought so. This similar sensation back then. Hey, what are you doing? Hurry. We have to hurry, Tabby. But this is in the future. <gasps> Sableye. Wehehe. -he. Unless this place is that forest just in the future. I think we're from the future. Maybe we were also trying to stop the planet's paralysis. We were trying to help. Duskwar did smile when he heard our name and when we found it. Oh, hello. You're a flying type. I don't want that. Thank you, Amp. When he heard our name and our ability, and that we used to be, quote-unquote, human cat, actually. It's fine, they don't know any better in the game. Oh, I don't like how many flying types there are, that makes me uncomfortable. Okay, I have quick attack picked, so that should be fine. We'll just have Amp deal with them, and then I'll quick attack. Ooh. Shiny. And stairs. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Jump Bluff. Goodbye. Alright. Ooh. I want that. Now. Oops. Well, that works. <laughs> was not what I meant to do. Wait. So we have Grovile on our team now. Oh, I can't look at his moves or anything. Can I give him something? Can I give him the Zinc Band? I can't. Not. No. It won't let me. Dang. Oh, well. Guess it's because he's a temporary friend, not a permanent friend. Mega Drain. Ow! Oh, I missed. Ooh. He's... Wow, he's a level 46. I just noticed. He is like twice our level. That's insane. We're not supposed to be that level, are we? Well... If we are, we're definitely not at that level, or even close. So... Whoop. Ooh. Well, he can definitely take more hits than we can. Give me this hunger seed. 
me. Stairs. Warp orb. Ah! Rude. Woohoo! At least it missed. There we go. We're good. I don't have any more Pacha Berries to be cheeky with, but there's the stairs, so we'll be fine. Wait, there's an item I want. <laughs> no! Ah! He wasn't holding anything. It's fine. I want my bow. And give me this hunger seed. Dang it. Eee. Items. Give me back my bow. Wait, did I give myself a zinc band instead of the bow? I think I did. There we go. Accidentally put the wrong one on. Ooh, item. What's this? Thunder wave. Well, don't really need that on anybody. Sleep seed. Jeez. Uh-oh. Oh, oh used splash. Leech seed. Thank you, Amp. Actually, almost to level 30. <gasps> Dusk Forest Heights. This is. This is where Celebi is supposed to be? That's right. It was around here that I met her last time. But if Primal Dialga, Dialga knows of this place, Celebi will have fled from here. If this place isn't known to our pursuers, however. Celebi should still be here. Hello? Celebi? It's me, Grovile. Reveal yourself if you're here. She's not coming out. Did she get frightened off by Primal Dialga? What if... What if she's been captured? Captured? What? Where'd that voice come from? But now, I don't hear anything. That voice... Was I just hearing things? <laughs> you didn't imagine it. Well, Me? Captured? How insulting. Captured? Impossible, that's for sure. <laughs> <gasps> oh, he's the shiny one! Pink Celebi. No wonder he called her a girl. Very cute, though. It's been too long, my dear Grovile. Yes, it's been a while, Celebi. What? This tiny thing is Celebi? Rude. Now, that is just downright rude. How inappropriate to poke fun at my petite proportions. Uh, I'm sorry. I heard you have the ability to cross time. So I expected you to be some awe-inspiring Pokemon. How uncouth. Never judge someone by appearance. But, I forgive you. After all, you must find me cuter and more special than you imagined. <laughs> um, yes? Celebi, I need your help again. I know. Seeing you back here, my dear Grovile, tells me everything I need to know. You're back because you failed in your mission in the past, yes? Er, yes, it's true. I hope you manage this time. I've had quite enough of this. Living in the dark and dreary world is so depressing. Sorry, no time to chat. The Sableye are tracking us. If we don't leave soon, we'll have brought you trouble. <laughs> it's quite fine. There's no need to be worried. Let those sable I come. They're no concern to me. Besides, if you'd be so kind as to prevent the planet's paralysis, we'll finally be spared the agony of this world's darkness. My dear Grovile, I will devote my whole life to achieving that end. All right. Where's the passage of time? It's ready. It's nearby. 
passage of time is on the plateau above this forest. That's good. Can you guide us? Yes! Are all three of you taking the passage of time? Yeah, that's right. Oh, what's this? Your friend? What? What? What about me? What? Friend? No, that can't be. Can't, what can't be? Is something the matter, Celebi? No, it's nothing. She knows something. She knows something. Well then, shall we? Off to the passage of time? She, she definitely knows something. Hey, Grovile, so what's the passage of time? The passage of time is a portable a portal that Celebi uses to travel through time. It's a secret corridor that spans dimensions. For short trips, I can travel through time all by myself. But for big trips that span many generations, I must use the passage of time. Oh, so if we were to go through the passage of time... Yes, you would be able to return to your own time. Oh, I see it! Ooh. There's the entrance that leads up to the plateau. The passage of time is way up there. Good. We'll leave as soon as we're ready. Alright. Oh. Check our storage. We have a bunch of extra stuff in here. Hunger seeds. We don't need that band. Or that apple. Berries, reviver seeds. Okay, we should be fine then. Alright. Save. We can return by, to the past by going through the passage of time. We're almost there. We're leaving as soon as you're ready. Hi! Hi! So listen. This is just a little secret. Did you know that Grovile is really impatient and hasty? I know that he wants to hurry. But I do wish we would slow down a little. It sure would make me happier if he did. I want to spend as much time with him as I can. She likes... Oh, she likes Grovile. Oh, uh... It's not how I meant it at all. Not at all. I don't have any special feelings for him or anything. That's so cute. Oh, Grovile. Celebi likes you. Oh, that's so cute. All right save again. Just in case. Alright, so I think uh, that's where we're going to end it today uh, for this episode. Next time, we'll see if we can get back to, back to the past, Samurai Jack. Alright. Uh, so yeah. I hope you cats and kittens have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>